told your parents you're gay? No, but I asked him to meet me at Mr. Foo's at 8 o'clock, and by 8.30, my parents will know that I'm gay. She was just glowing. She's finally met Mr. Wright. Wow. Uh, <laughs> hey, sorry, I'm late. It's hard to wait. So, what's the big news? Yeah, well, um, there's something to tell you. Um, um, somebody here has got to be gay. Just... <laughs> For the, for the sake of argument, let's just say it's me. Oh, okay, let's try something else. Let's um, he's still he's your child and he's gay. What would you think if your child was gay? Our oh, child is not gay. Yeah. Yes, she is. What? I'm gay. I mean, you know, just because you haven't found the right man doesn't mean you're gay. I mean, I mean, you're just very choosy, and there's nothing wrong with being choosy. I'm not attracted to any men. No, that's too choosy. Well, how long do you know? I don't know. Well, you weren't gay yesterday. <laughs> Actually, yes, I was. Did I push you too hard to wear dresses? Yes. <laughs> yes, but that's not why I'm gay. Please understand that for the first time, I am really, really happy. Oh. Your brother Stevie had exactly the same childhood and he turned out perfectly normal. I am normal, Dad. I couldn't keep him bottled up anymore, you know? And you're my parents, and I wanted to tell you. And I guess somehow I thought that maybe you already knew. Already knew? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, we have known all along. And, and, and then we're just pretending here to feel shocked and upset and disappointed. No, I'm not seeing anyone. Well, what does that mean? I mean, can you be gay by yourself? Okay. Then I'm gay. I'm sorry, Ellen. Does that shock you? I thought you knew all along. Don't worry, dear. He's not really gay. Coming out to your parents is like a, a life-changing experience. It's probably the biggest thing that ever happened. Excuse me. Your parents are from a different era. I mean, they expected you to be the prom queen, marry your high school sweetheart, and live happily ever after. I mean, what were they thinking? I'm gay. I'm not hurting anybody, if you don't count my parents. <laughs> they obviously don't want to deal with it. Actually, the Gay and Lesbian Center has a family support group. Am I the only one here who reads the lesbian news? Maybe you were still upset when I told you that. Oh, I was... well, look, you already told us, and now we all know, and, and there's no reason to discuss it ever again. We don't have to discuss it. It's just that, you know, that's sort of the point why, why I told you. I mean, it's we're not going to discuss it. I, I could have kept it to myself. Well, fine. Why don't we just do that? What are you working on over there? It's your new house. And uh, this is your family. And I guess we don't need them anymore. Yeah, just because I'm gay doesn't mean that I can't have a family. I mean, I don't... I don't need him. Dad, we have to talk about this. No, I don't think we do. I think we've just about covered everything. Well, maybe, um, you and me and, and Mom, maybe we could go to a place, you know, some place that could help us, you know, be more comfortable to talk about this whole gay thing. I don't want to talk about it. You know what, Dad? Real life is not Morganville. You know, in real life, when a tree falls down, you can't just glue it back. And when your daughter tells you that she's gay, you can't just put her on the first train out of town because you know why, Dad? The train doesn't go out of town. The train just goes around and around in circles. Ellie, I, I'm, I'm really trying here. Uh, but I don't know. I mean, I, I, I just don't feel comfortable. I don't know any gay people. Yes, you do. You know me. <laughs> hey, Mom. Hi. <laughs> Where's Dad? Park in the car? No, um, no, he, he didn't want to come. And, well, to tell you the truth, I didn't really want to come either. Well, I'm glad you did. Yeah, you know, he, he, he's not ready yet. It's going to take him a little time. Is that one of those dipstick lesbians? <laughs> I, I believe it's called lipstick lesbian. <laughs> yes, and I, I would be a chapstick lesbian. I don't think being gay is anything to joke about. Well, I'm sorry. I don't know what else to do. I was scared. I was ashamed. And now that it's out, you know what? It's funny. <laughs> yeah, but it isn't to me. I know. I'm sorry. It's just, 
It's not some horrible secret either, you know, and that's why we're here to discuss this with other people that are going through the same. I'm, uh, I'm Ellen, and uh, I haven't had a heterosexual thought in eight days. <laughs> what do two women do in bed together? Okay, that's enough time. That's all right. We don't need to hog the floor. Who else wants to talk? <laughs> I wanted you to find someone, someone nice. I want to find someone nice too. It's just not going to be a man. I don't understand who will take care of you. I'm not a plant. I, I really feel like I don't even know you anymore. I, I miss the old Ellen. Which Ellen is that? The Ellen that used to keep her feelings bottled up? The Ellen that used to lie to herself and, and everybody else? The Ellen that could have spent the rest of her life alone? She's gone. But you know who is here? The Ellen that's a good daughter. The Ellen that's always trying to do the right thing. The Ellen that speaks about herself in third person. <laughs> the Ellen who just wants you to accept her for who she is. I mean, why, why should your mother accept this? It's wrong. It's sick. And you're sick. Oh, uh, wait, now, don't you talk to my daughter that way. She is not sick. And, and, and sure, I'm not, I'm not happy about this, but, but I love her, and I don't want to lose her. You tell him, Lois. She's here. She's queer. Get used to it. I read that on a bumper sticker. Ellen. Ellen, I was just talking to that young woman over there, and she's a doctor. That's nice. And she's available. I'm not ready to start dating. But she's a doctor. <laughs>